Usually I try to, oops. <laughs> perfect lemon blueberry fit. Oh yeah. It's like the perfect lemon blueberry. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like the, hi. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. I'm Adam. And in today's video we have a snack and food review yes. and we are excited for this one. We kind of rushed into doing this one. I feel like we just <laughs> did one of these but we got some new stuff literally the day after we filmed our last snack review that I want to try. So I've just been having it sit on the counter and I've been wanting to try it so that's why we're doing this today. We've got enough stuff to test out. If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's get started with a drink. First off the drink is one of the things that I had ordered that came the next day that I was really excited about trying. Unfortunately, I didn't scan it or find out the point value before I bought it, but it's a different liquid IV. It said that it was one of their returning flavors, so I think they've had it before, probably because it was entered into the WW app as well. It is the pear flavored liquid IV, and I saw a lot of comments of people being excited that it was back, so I'm really excited to try it, but what I was saying is that it's actually four points for one of these. Usually liquid IVs are three points, unless you get their sugar-free ones, which are one point, and that's why we really like those. Even when I have the three-point liquid IVs now, I don't actually track them because it's just something that I don't have every day and it helps me to get rehydrated on days that I'm more active. So that's why I like to have them. These are vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. They're hydration for performance, heat, sun, travel, and wellness. And overall, we just really like Liquid IV. We've tried a few other different like electrolyte drinks and I feel like we always go back to Liquid IV. Yeah. Anyway, these are 50 calories for one stick. They have 13 carbs and 11 grams of sugar. And the flavor we got is pear. So with Liquid IVs, they recommend that you use it with 16 ounces of water. Usually we do a little extra because we find that it's just a little salty when you have less water. So right here I've got like 24, 28 ounces, probably 24 ounces. Yeah. It smells really good. It does smell really good. It smells like pear. <laughs> Why'd I say that? It smells like pear. We each have our own water and we're just shaking it up. Somehow mine's spilling out even though it's closed. Four points. Wish it was lower, but honestly, not a huge deal. We don't have these every day, like I said. Yep. So, cheers. Cheers. That's one I feel like I could actually use less water with. Yeah. Because it's not too strong of a flavor, no. but it's a good pear it's flavor. A, it's a very good pear flavor. Yeah, and I love anything pear. We always <laughs> like pear flavored drinks. Yeah. Honestly, it'd be good for like an alcoholic beverage, I it feel would. like. Does it that would. work? Can you do electrolytes with alcohol? I feel like that's just like, does it cancel out? <laughs> just hydration, you yeah. know? <laughs> but no, I like it. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. I wish it wasn't four points though. And the difference was mainly that it had more carbs, right? You said between the other ones? Uh, yeah, carbs and a little bit, and sodium. It's like 140 more milligrams of sodium. Okay. Three, two, one. Four and a half. Four. four. Okay. Ooh. I gave it, I docked it down points because it's... Four points? Yeah. But... It's definitely probably my in my top three for favorite flavors that we've tried. It's probably top two for me. Okay. So that's why I gave it a four and a half. What's your top? I honestly don't know. It might be that. <laughs> really? We've tried so many that I can't even... The watermelon's still uh, my all-time favorite, and I feel like the watermelon has more of like a sweet flavor than this, but I really like the pear flavor of it. Yeah, I think my favorite is probably the sugar-free grape one. Oh, yeah. That one's like my favorite. This one's probably number two. Yeah. That's I fun. like the sugar-free peach, too, but... Yeah. I like all the sugar-free ones. I like the lime, too, just like the plain lime. Yeah. I like all of them. Honestly. They're really good. But yeah, but the pear is really good. <laughs> the first thing we're going to be trying is some Hearts of Palm fried rice. So we like to buy the different Palmini Hearts of Palm, but I've never gotten it actually, like, prepared or flavored or seasoned like this. So usually we just get, like, the plain rice, the plain lasagna noodles, the angel hair noodles or whatever else we get, yeah. linguine. But anyway, this one is actually flavored. So it is fried rice. It is... 40 calories for a serving, which is half of it. So actually the whole thing is 80 calories. It's got a half gram of fat, 14 carbs, four grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and six grams of protein. And it's two points for the whole thing and then one for half of it. So usually Hearts of Palm is zero, but this has some stuff added to it. Although looking at what it has added, I don't think it's anything that even adds points other than the sesame seed oil. So if that's two points worth, I feel like they wouldn't even add that much if it's like the second to last ingredient, but yeah. we're gonna give it a try. So this is the whole bag here. And we've mentioned before with Hearts of Palm, it tastes very much like artichoke or like asparagus kind of. I feel like more artichoke more though. Artichoke. Yeah, but we like to mix it in with different things, and honestly, a lot of the recipes we do with it, you can barely tell that it's hearts of palm, although you still taste like the artichoke flavor. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is the entire bag, so pretty good portion for two points. Yeah. It smells very much like peas or artichoke. It kind of smells like peas, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is it burning? <laughs> no, I just dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. 
it's almost kind of sour. Yeah. Like, it reminds me a little bit of, what does it remind me of? The sourness that I get is like from like the artichokes. Yeah. Because artichokes have that almost like sour, it's like almost like a tartness, but it's not. It, is, it really is like artichoke and asparagus together, yeah. like the flavor and yeah. the texture. It definitely does not taste like fried rice, like no. honestly. And I don't even really get like the sesame oil flavor. It really is just overpowered by the carrots of palm flavor. Yeah, but honestly, like this would be really good with like chicken and hot sauce. Oh yeah. I would love that a lot. I think that we would definitely bulk it up and add different ingredients to add more protein and stuff to it, but it definitely has a really sour taste to it. It's almost like sauerkraut too, like not really, but like... <laughs> The flavor, not the texture or yeah, anything, but... I can see that. Sauerkraut, asparagus, and... <laughs> Artichoke <artichokes. laughs> All of it mixed together is kind of what it tastes like. There's, like, some carrot chunks it looks like in there. I don't even really taste soy sauce. I feel like we would prefer to just buy the regular riced hearts of palm and then make it myself. I've done that before, and we really like it. I just yeah. make it the same way I usually do. And I feel like that way it has a little bit more of that flavor, but also we put more vegetables and stuff in yeah. it, so maybe that's why. Honestly, some egg in this would probably be pretty good. That too. would be really good with yeah. egg, yeah. Three, two, one. Four. Three and a half. I just think you were going three and a half. It's just a little bit too sour for me. I don't know why it seems like that. Maybe just like I need to have hearts of palm and I haven't, but we just had hearts of palm lasagna and it wasn't yeah. that like tangy. Yeah. So I feel like just the seasoning, I don't like that much. And I'd prefer to just get the regular hearts of palm rice, which I would give that like a five. I love that product. Yeah. And for zero points, it's really good. So yeah, I think I'd prefer that over this. Yeah. I don't know if I'd buy this again. I definitely prefer that over this one, but I think for two points for that much of rice and it, it, to me, it, it has more of a consistency of rice and not hearts of palm. Like the other stuff yeah. kind of like, it almost melts a little bit, but true. I definitely like the Trader Joe's one better, but I mean, I would still eat this if we bought it again. Yeah. It does seem like it's like cooked perfectly yeah. and it's, it would be a convenient thing for you to bring to work and add chicken to like definitely. you mentioned. Or... I, might, I might do that if we get it again too. Yeah. Okay. The next thing we're trying, we've tried these before. They are chickpea chips. And honestly, when I tried them before, I didn't like them. I said they had too much of like a chickpea strong, weird flavor to them. But a lot of people recommended that I try their other flavors because they said they're good. And so we want to give them another try. Adam liked them last yeah. time. And we tried so... like a sweet chili one. It was really yeah. good. But this one's the sour cream and chive. It's 140 calories for about 19 chips. So that's a pretty good serving. It's four points for that serving of an ounce, 140 calories. It's got seven grams of fat, 17 carbs, and three grams of protein. And I really like sour cream and onion stuff. I didn't used to as a kid. Like I never liked sour cream and onion. Really? And now it's like one of my favorite flavors when we get things. Okay, not much, no, I don't smell much no. of anything. But I did like that these were crunchy. Like I feel like they're a good size. The fact that you can have 19 of these for four points, I think is a good serving size. I think these would be really good in air pop popcorn and like a snack mix for zero points. Definitely. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Those are so much better than the last ones <laughs> we tried. That sour cream and onion flavor is really good. It's really salty. Yeah, it is. Wow. It didn't feel like it had like a crazy amount of seasoning on it, but then like you get like a burst of flavor right mm -hmm. away. And I don't really taste chickpea. Do you? Like, no. I think the, the chive is over is like more overpowering, so you get that more than the chickpea. This to me almost seems like seasoned crunchy curls. Where like oh, yeah. with crunchy curls, you can't really taste that they're super chickpea or like the flavor that they have or they're like lentil. I don't know what they are, mm -hmm. but these I feel like the seasoning is so much and the crunch is so good. Yeah. I, I really like these actually. Those are good. I want to keep eating them. <laughs> I like I keep going back to right, I was about to <laughs> They have a really good crunch and really good saltiness though. They do. So four points for 19. I think with those, I'd use those more in a snack mix though, but. Yeah. Three, two, one, four and a half. I really like the flavor. It's super salty and sour cream and oniony. <laughs> I like the flavor. I kind of think I might like the other ones a little better just because. No they, way! The other ones had a little bit of a kick to them because they were sweet um, chili, so I kind of like that better. But yeah, you don't really taste chickpea with them. That's why I gave them a four because I thought they were pretty good. And right? Four, four points is pretty good. It says they have three grams of plant protein and they are gluten free. I didn't really eat that many of. The other ones? Yeah, but I think I most of those. I'm gonna be eating these and adding these to snack mixes. Yeah, in a snack mix, that'd be really good. I think a two point serving would be perfect. Yeah. Okay, the next thing we're trying, we got from Sam's Club and it's been in our freezer. We've been wanting to try them, so we have them today. So we found these at Sam's Club in a box like this. So it's got four bowls in here and they come in these boxes like this. So we just thought these would be something to try for Adam to bring to work for a quick breakfast. He likes to bring like the breakfast sandwiches and bowls and stuff. So this was just a new option. We had tried like egg sausage bites from them and like them so we just wanted to give these a try so it is five points for an entire bowl which really is not bad that's actually a pretty good serving yeah. i think it's interesting though because it has quinoa in it and i don't know how much we'd really like quinoa as like a breakfast bowl but we're gonna try it so it's a morning protein bowl it says it has cage-free scrambled eggs fire roasted tomatoes all natural chicken sausage quinoa black beans onions 
poblano chili peppers and salsa blend so there's a lot in there yeah. it smells really good the second we started cooking it we smelled it and it really does smell good for the bowl like i said it's five points on weight watchers it's 210 calories eight grams of fat 18 carbs three grams of fiber three grams of sugar and 16 grams of protein honestly not a bad option he said right away that he thinks he would want to add more eggs to it and i agree i think we would definitely add like eggs or veggie mix if he was bringing it to work maybe you could even bring like a hard boiled egg i don't know yeah. what would be easiest or even for just you. like one of those um veggies make great things and just oh, True. Like crumbled up in there. True. But like I said, a pretty decent portion. I think it looks like a good amount of food. And it's got like beans and stuff and eggs, so it should be pretty filling. I'm trying to get oh and the sausage. I want to get a bite yeah. of the sausage. I see the quinoa like on stuff. I know. Cheers. Cheers. That's really good. That is really good. It has really good flavor. I honestly like the I'm guessing it's like the salsa blend. The tomatoes or whatever, it yeah. gives it really good flavor. That's like, makes it really good. I don't know why. It's the, yeah, the fire roasted tomatoes. Yeah. Also, the chicken sausage is really good. Mm -hmm. And the quinoa is like not really noticeable. It kind of just like blends in with it. Yeah. So I feel like the quinoa is in there to kind of bulk it up a little bit. Like, yeah. you don't notice it that much. Yeah. And it would make it more filling, but I really like it. I'm actually surprised. And I don't even think I'd want to add like any sauce. I know you'd want to add hot oh, sauce yeah. to it, I but <laughs> I think just like an extra egg to that would be perfect. Perfect. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised, and I think I like it more than the bites that we tried from them. Yes, I agree. So wait, it's five points for the bowl. Yep. That's not bad either. It's not bad. Wait, two, one. Four and, Four and, and a half. half. Yep. <laughs> I thought we would do the same on that one. It's really good. It's very good. I feel like it has a little kick to it. Not really. Not like crazy, but uh, like... It might be. Pagano oh. chili peppers, I think, have a little kick to them. Yeah. Um, so you might be getting some of that. Uh, that's something I'm definitely going to take to work. Oh, yeah. These will be definitely convenient for you to just microwave at work. And yeah, we found them at Sam's Club, so... Yeah. Okay, the last salty thing we're trying. So you found these at Woodman's and they are garden veggie flavor burst zesty ranch tortilla chips. <laughs> I just got it all in a yeah. one. <laughs> but they're from the brand Sensible Portions. That's the one that usually makes like veggie straws and different snacks that we like mm. to try. They are gluten free and zesty ranch just sounds really good. I'm hoping they taste like Cool Ranch Doritos. For the serving of about 11 chips, it's 140 calories. It's got eight grams of fat, 15 carbs, one gram of fiber, one gram of sugar, and two grams of protein. And it's four points for that serving. So again, this would be something for like snack mixes, yeah. I feel like. Or if it's really good, maybe like nachos. And there was a nacho cheese one too? Yes, it's on the bag. Ah, there we go. We made a tough decision. <laughs> Yeah. And so they are different colors. I didn't know that they would oh. be. So it's like, yeah, like the veggie straws and. Yeah, so. Decent size. It's like a normal size tortilla chip. Yeah. They look like they're pretty heavily seasoned. So yeah. let's see. Cheers. Cheers. They pretty much taste like Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah, do. The seasoning is like on point. It's not as seasoned as Cool Ranch Doritos, but like. It's really good. <laughs> I think that nachos would be amazing on this yeah. just because it'd be like Cool Ranch tacos or Cool Ranch Dorito tacos, yep. you know? These are good. So four points for 11 chips is kind of high though. Yeah. I feel like, but for how similar they are to Cool Ranch Doritos, I feel like that's why. They, they don't are. have that like greasiness to them either. That, true. That Doritos has. That is true. Yeah, I kind of like the crunch of the chip too. I feel like it's a little mm -hmm. bit like thicker and crunchier, but. Three, two, one. Four. four. <laughs> I just gave it a four because four points for 11 is kind of high. Usually I try to do like two point servings of snacks when I add them to snack mixes. So I always think about like, so a half serving. So I'd be able to have like five of those. Yeah. I feel like that's kind of small for a snack mix. Yeah. But again, if we had a plate of nachos with like 99% lean ground turkey, lettuce, salsa, all the like zero point toppings, that'd be a really good base. That would be really I good. I kind of want that. That'd be really good. I want to try have that. To that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I give it a four and a half just because um, I want to try the nacho cheese ones to see if I like them better. But yeah, I think four points is a little high for that. What Doritos do you prefer, nacho or Cool Ranch? Cool Ranch. So do I. That's why we picked these, I think. Yeah. yeah. So that wraps it up for salty. Let's go ahead and move on to sweet. Okay, so the next thing that we're trying is something that I had to get because we tried them in a recent snack review and didn't realize that they were supposed to be pretty much biscotti, like thin biscotti. So we kept saying that we thought they were like too sweet for pistachio crisp, but it was because we were comparing them to the crisp that we usually get from Meyer. And I looked more into the brand and they make biscotti. So we found these again. These were at Meyer. They're also, I think, at Fresh time and woodman's but the brand is nani's bakery and i actually had people recommend that i try their other flavors <laughs> yeah. saying that they're good so that's why i had to find these and i'm excited to try them today because they are lemon blueberry flavor which we mentioned i think in a couple snack reviews ago when adam tried it that that's one of his favorite flavors of things so i was excited when we found them and have to try them so they come in individual packs like this and each one comes with 
three in there. They're 90 calories for the pack, two grams of fat, 15 carbs. It's got one gram of fiber, eight grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And the pack is three points, so it's pretty much just a point of crisp, which I don't think is bad, especially if it is like biscotti yeah. and not just like a cracker like we thought. Yeah. Although, like I said with the last ones, with chicken salad and tuna salad on them, this is really good, honestly. Yeah. So you can see it's actually got a good amount of blueberries. And then what did I say they are? Almonds? Yes, they are almond crisps. So baked with real fruit, lightly sweet, crispy, crunchy, and chewy. They have six packs in there, each one with three. Smell it. It smells so good. It smells really good. Cheers. Cheers. Those are really good. Those are very good. It's like the perfect lemon blueberry flavor. It's not too sweet or like lemony, but I love that it's got the dried blueberries in it and it's a good, it's a good like <laughs> mix. Like it's it's like a perfect mix of those two flavors. Yeah. And I think for 3, it 3 points is not bad for no. like three little these are kind of like little like cookies. So I think as a nice like dessert or a snack on the go. I feel like I would just want those with like whipped cream on them. Ooh, I don't know why. That it just sounds good. good. But honestly just plain they're really good. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing the same thing for everything. I have been. Ah, three, two, one, four. four. I think it's really good. I think, I don't know, it's just like a, a basic snack. I think I'll definitely buy them again and we'll go through these. Yeah. But I feel like I'll use it more as like a dessert type snack or like after lunch. It's kind of high point to have like three, but maybe not. I don't know. Sometimes I have like the skinny dip peanut butter cup, but like after lunch, I always want something sweet and I feel like this would satisfy that. That's true. Or as like a snack with my iced coffee or, you know, something pretty good. Yeah. Okay, the next thing that we're trying, we have tried these before, but we have some other flavors that we are tasting today. So we've got orange and almond dark chocolate. The brand is red and it is just a lower calorie chocolate option and it has no sugar added. We also have a hazelnut and macadamia nut milk chocolate that we're gonna be trying. For the orange one, the serving is for six pieces, which is a third of the bar. So first of all, that's actually a pretty good serving. Let me show it. These bars are actually pretty big in size. So this serving is 100 calories. It's got eight grams of fat, 23 carbs, three grams of fiber. It has 10 grams of sugar alcohol and two grams of protein. And it looks like they use erythritol. That whole serving is five points. So that's a good portion of chocolate, definitely for only five points. See, cheers. cheers. That's actually really good. That's really good. I love orange. I was going to say that, yeah. It's so good. Orange and dark chocolate specifically, yeah. too. It's not like overpowering orange, and I like the dark chocolate, honestly. It's like a good accent. It's like subtle, but yeah. you taste it. It's good. And I don't taste fake sugar with this chocolate ever. Mm -hmm. I feel like we said that last time we tried it. We were impressed that it has a decent amount of sugar alcohol, but really don't taste it much. Yeah. So now looking at this one, this is the hazelnut and macadamia milk chocolate. It's the same size bar. It also has three servings of six pieces. For six pieces, it's 130 calories. It's got nine grams of fat, 20 carbs, three grams of sugar, 10 of sugar alcohol, and three grams of protein. And this bar is seven points on Weight Watchers. Oh, I opened it the wrong way last time. Oh. <laughs> So this one's a little bit higher, but still seven points for that size, that portion. I feel like we usually, when we have chocolate, don't even eat like that big of a portion. No. We try to just have smaller portions, yeah. but. It's probably because it's nuts. That could be why this one's higher true. And it's milk chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. That one's really good. I think I like that one better. You love hazelnut. That's true, I do. The macadamia nut is like small. Like it's, I think it's like small pieces. So I got a little bit, but you definitely taste the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I don't usually like hazelnut that much, but I like that. Yeah. I like both these chocolates more than I remember when we last tried them. I right. feel like they're better. These are really good. They're very good. <laughs> and again, yeah, I don't know if I'd have six squares. Okay, a little bit I'm starting to feel a little bit of the fake sugar. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's just like sugary sweet in my mouth. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Just sugary sweet in my mouth. And do you have the same ranking for both of them? I do. Okay. Three, two, one. Four. Four and a half. Ooh. Whoa, I went higher than you. I did. I don't know why. I just... Maybe I'm just craving chocolate right now, and that is like satisfying <laughs> that craving, but those are both really good. I want to go back for more for both right? of them. And I like the hazelnut more than I expected. I definitely do prefer just like the orange and dark chocolate, though. I love that. That's that good. is such a good combo. I want to keep eating that bar. <laughs> this would be good on s'mores. Yeah. And it's well, a good lower point chocolate good. option. Really good on s'mores. Yeah. So I went four because I like the macadamia nut or hazelnut one flavor better. Okay. But it's higher point. So yeah. that's why I kind of give them even. Yep. Okay, the next thing that we're trying, I'm so excited about. This was the other thing that I ordered that showed up right after we finished our last snack review. And it is a Three Wishes cereal. So we really like Three Wishes. I feel like it's our favorite cereal that's like this, where it's like kind of a higher protein option. Usually there's like more fiber, less sugar, 
And so we prefer this cereal a lot yeah. of times. We like a lot of their flavors. We like their marshmallow and then the, the cinnamon, cinnamon one from yep. Costco we bought a few times. But anyway, s'mores is my favorite flavor for a bunch of things. So I'm excited to try this. I actually ordered this off Amazon. It came in a three pack. So I was really banking on the <laughs> fact that hopefully this is good. It does say limited edition. So hopefully we don't like it too much if it's gonna be going away, but we're just gonna go ahead and try it. So one thing I like is that their ingredients are super simplified here. So you can see it's just Chickpea, tapioca, pea protein, organic cane sugar, cocoa, natural flavors, salt, and monk fruit. This has no wheat, corn, rice, dairy, oats. It's peanut free, vegan, soy free, and gluten free. So if you are looking for any type of like allergen friendly cereal, this might be a good option for you. And the Roman owned. I was just gonna say that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and the serving for this is another reason that I like to get it. You can have bigger portions for low point. So there's seven servings in here. So one serving is a cup and it's three points on Weight Watchers for that, which is nice for a cereal, mm -hmm. definitely. It's 130 calories, two grams of fat, 20 carbs, four grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and eight grams of protein. So let's go ahead and give it a try. With us, we usually like to just have cereal either in regular like Fairlife milk or something like that, like a bowl of cereal. I like to use it in my yogurt bowls. He likes to add it to his protein shakes. Yeah. And then sometimes we just like to snack on it, even just like dry like this. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. I think it's good. I think it tastes very similar to like their other ones too. Um, it's very chocolatey though, which I kind of like. I was going to say, it almost seems like it's their chocolate mixed with their marshmallow. I think that might be what it is because I really don't taste much like cinnamon or graham cracker with it for like s'mores, but it is really good. Mm. I really like the marshmallow one that they have. I think you can kind of taste the monk fruit. Like you can feel that feeling and taste it. That's how it is anytime you have anything with monk fruit, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna use this on protein shakes. And I'm definitely gonna use it in yogurt because a two point serving is what I usually use for cereal in my bowl. That's gonna be actually a good portion. <laughs> okay, it's a half cup. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, let's go ahead and give it a number. Two, one. Three and a half. Four. I think the cinnamon roll or cinnamon whatever one yeah. we got from Costco is still my all-time favorite from them. Yes, the little balls. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I really like the chocolatiness of this and I like that it's got like the marshmallow flavor. I think I'll definitely use it in yogurt or as just like a bowl of cereal. Yeah. But I mean, we have three boxes. We'll definitely use it. Yeah, definitely. So not bad. Okay. So the last thing that we're trying today is a peanut butter. I'm so excited about this. So. <laughs> I actually, for Valentine's Day, ordered Adam this like peanut butter set from Be Nutty, which is a brand that we actually originally first tried on a snack review. And when I ordered him the Valentine's Day box, I also ordered some other flavors that I hadn't seen before of theirs. So we're gonna be trying those today. We've got Honey Granola Crunch, which sounds so good. So it's a peanut butter. And then we also have this one I'm so excited about, oatmeal raisin cookie peanut butter. So I say we try that one second. Let's go ahead and try this one first. But we found Bee Nutty at Fresh Time. And then this one I just ended up ordering off their site when I got the box, like I said. It's just a product that we've really enjoyed. It's a good lower point peanut butter option. I think it's just got less sugar than like normal peanut butters. And they have some really good flavors. <laughs> Very good. Our favorite, well so far is the <laughs> raspberry white chocolate peanut butter. That is like my all time favorite. So good, so good. Uh, we tried a blueberry one too. Oh yeah, that, that one was the really good too. The fruit ones are really good. Yeah, they really do have some good unique flavors. They do have like a toffee one that we like, a cinnamon cookie or something, or snickerdoodle mm -hmm. or something, I don't know. But I don't think there's been a flavor of theirs that we've tried that we haven't liked. <laughs> yeah. Not that we're super picky with peanut butter, but I, honestly, we've had had peanut butters that we weren't huge fans of. Yeah. So for the serving of this, it's two tablespoons. It's 150 calories, nine grams of fat, it's got nine carbs, two grams of fiber, six grams of sugar, and five grams of protein in that serving. And this one's four points on Weight Watchers. So four points for two tablespoons of peanut butter is not bad at all. Yeah. Honestly, this could even be good as just like for a peanut butter and jelly. It smells like a, um, like almost like a caramel apple. I think it's because it's honey. Oh. I don't, I mean, that's just maybe. Interesting. I don't know. Maybe I just call it peanut butter. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Cheers. Cheers. I think I got like a raisin. Really? Or something. That was not only the resin, is it? No. It's the granola. Oh, it's got dried cranberries. I got a dried no cranberry. Mm-hmm. Dang it. I didn't get a dry cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's really good. That honey flavor is really good in there. Yeah. Okay, we had to do a battery change, so we might be in a different spot, but... Shifted. Anyway, I still have the taste of that peanut butter in my mouth. That was really it's good. really good. I like that it tastes just like normal peanut butter. Like, I say this a lot whenever we try different ones, but like, Nuts and More has such a unique flavor to it. I feel like it's so different than the other peanut butters we try. It's much like sweeter, yeah. whereas these just taste more like a kind of like natural peanut butter. But. One of my favorite things about Bee Nutty is that it is like crunchy peanut butter. 
yeah, there is always like stuff that makes it crunchy. I love and it's it. got some, yeah, some like nuts in there. Yeah. It definitely seems more like just like a natural peanut butter. This one's 150 calories for two tablespoons. It's got 12 grams of fat, eight carbs, two grams of fiber, five grams of sugar, and six grams of protein. And this one's five points on Weight Watchers. This is the oatmeal raisin cookie. It felt like there was like crunchy cookie chunks in it. So let's see. Excited. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that might be my favorite one that we tried. It's so good. It almost tastes like it's like oatmeal raisin cookie dough with a little bit of peanut butter. There's like a little cinnamon in there too. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I actually have different. Same. Three, yep. two, one. Four and a half and five. Same. <laughs> <laughs> so the four and a half is for the honey granola and then the five is for the oatmeal cookie. That is so, so good. good. Oatmeal raisin cookies are my favorite. And as a peanut butter, oh my gosh. I feel like that one would be really good as anything. I don't even yeah. know. In a creamy, on toast, on a rice cake. By itself in by a itself. spoon. <laughs> yeah, I could just keep eating that really. Yeah. That was really good. My favorite's still the white chocolate raspberry one that I was talking about. Yeah. But that is a close like second, maybe third. Both of them are really unique though. I feel mm -hmm. like the oatmeal raisin cookie and the white chocolate raspberry and the blueberry, they have such unique flavors and yeah, they're really good. They're so good. <laughs> we have not been disappointed by any of their flavors. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times they do separate a little, but it even, I think it has instructions on here where it says to like flip it upside down because it's just the oil separating. And I feel like that's just because it's like more of a natural peanut butter. Yeah. But it's really good. Okay. So favorite salty for me. Yeah. I think it was actually this. That's I really so like those. weird. I know because I didn't like the last ones. Like I gave them a low ranking, but I also like this. The bowls were really good. Definitely. Then for sweet, I think my favorite's just this. Same. I also really liked the <laughs> lemon blueberry and the red. I just like to highlight everything. You know what I mean? But everything was really like good. like a one, two, three. <laughs> I know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. We always love trying new things like this Thank and getting you. new ideas. I already see a few things that we will definitely be repurchasing and just things that help us to live our healthier lifestyle. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this and we will see you next time. Bye.